Hey guys, welcome back to Yang Yang TT. After talking about powerful full hand smash and full hand topspin, I'm going to talk about powerful backhand smash in this video. When we talk about a full hand smash, I suggest you to use a full hand smash even when the ball comes to your backhand side because you will have enough time to move if the ball is really high. So, what kind of situations shall we use backhand smash? First, when we don't have enough space to move. When the ball comes to at the corner of a backhand side, it's not wise for us trying to reluctantly tend to use forehand smash. Second, when we try to catch the ball at forehand side with a crossover step, our body shows like this, and the opponent returns at a high ball. This time, our body is not ready for a forehand smash. So in this situation, backhand smash could be a good way. Third, I'm sure there are lots of players who are better at backhand than forehand. So they would feel more confident when they use the backhand smash to finish the point. Most of the time, we play backhand smash at a backhand side. For smash, you could stand a little bit towards to your left side in order to create more space to swing your arm. So right leg slightly ahead of left leg. This time, we don't have to put our body weight down like this. A little bit stand like this. First, back swing your arm, rotate your body as well. Unlike a backhand drive or topspin, we have to lift our arms to our shoulders level when we play backhand smash. When the ball is coming, swing your arm forward and a little bit down with a completely flat contact. This will help us generate more power and speed. Rotate your body at the same time. Body weight on your left leg first. Feel that you are letting go your arm. Let it go. Let it go. You can finish your stroke more to your right hand side. But always remember to recover from backhand smash. Transfer your body weight to your right leg. Because we are just trying to smash the ball, so we could open our racket angle more like this. In order to contact at this part of the ball, wrist. When you smash the ball, you don't have to try to hold it tight or use it on purpose. Just try to let it go when you swing your whole arm. Same as a forehand smash, there are two different timings that you could use to play backhand smash.
Did you get it? Let me know if you have any question. And please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. In my next video, I will talk about powerful backhand topspin. I know I will see you in my next video. All right, wish you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys in my next video. Bye.